Well, thank you for watching this job costing videos. This video is I'm going to focus on setting up your customers and jobs. So if you want to check out uh, our uh, other videos we have done, we've done, we done whole bunch and we've been doing more. So first one is, uh, let's see here, chart of accounts, setup, item list setup, and preferences setup, uh, payroll item list setup, and class tracking setup, and then we reviewed uh, recap of all the uh, uh, preferences and uh, uh, and item list uh, done. Uh, so uh, so this video we're going to focus on setting up your customers and jobs. All right, I'm going to go to QuickBooks Premier. I'm using QuickBooks Premier. Okay, so uh, this is QuickBooks Premier. Uh, at the uh, the construction type, uh, so you can have other type. That's okay. Uh, so job costing is not just limited construction. Uh, it could be for any type of business. Uh, so the first one you want to set up is that go to go to customers in here. See the customers is right here. Customers, and you go to customer center. All right. So then you will see new customer and job, okay? So, so you want to select, first select a new customer and on top of, uh, and then you want to add job, okay? So you can add job and if you have no customer, so it's pretty obvious, the customer center right here, and first you add, add new customer and then job. Okay, so I'm gonna start from here. In this case, uh, this is example, so this is uh, Albert Cruz is a, is a customer. So the way it's set up, it's right here, customer, Cruz, Albert, and then in all the information in here, uh, additional information if you want, the customer type, this happens to referral or from advertisement uh, or whatever it could be, you can just add in here. Uh, and if you have a salespeople, you can add a salespeople in here. And you can also add, uh, custom field, whatever you need, you can define it from here. Uh, whatever uh, custom field you need to add, you can add it in here. And then, uh, then you add uh, your uh, uh, job in here. Uh, so it's basically uh, Albert Cruz's customer and kitchen and remodel uh, is a job. All right, so in here, uh, as you can see here, just add job name in here and uh, job info uh, it's basically this this gives you whatever job you're going to do for that uh, client and the job type is the uh, uh, in this case is remodel so you can it depends on a type of business you have to define what type of job is it is a user defined thing you know in your business in your industry could be totally different uh, it could be just commercial or non-commercial or commercial or government residential or government or residential shopping center whatever uh, or for events it could be uh, uh, you know private event or public event or whatever so you have to come up with the way to set up the job type and then the status of course in progress so this is pretty uh, uh, you know it, it's in, it says in, in progress or pending Pending when you send out estimate, uh, it could be at pending level. So make sure on uh, in your preferences for the job cost. If you want to see uh, the status, okay. So this one is not it's not handling it here. Okay, let's see here. Do it one more time. I'm gonna close this. Preferences, like in here, job and estimate, and company preferences. You have to you have to uh, come up with the. This is a standard one. So if you don't do anything, you will see as it is. But if you want to create estimate, make sure this one is on. And if you want progress invoicing, uh, make sure this one is yes. All right. So. The focus is on uh, setting up customers and then job. Okay, so now let's go to the job side here. Okay, so in here, 
I'm going to just show you how this one is set up and then I'll show you how to add a new one okay so additional info in here your customer type you gotta select that you know referral whatever and uh, add rep uh, your, your, uh, your uh, sales rep let's say this one is from your sales rep from your employee list you know could be outside uh, outside too you know um, outside sales rep uh, independent contractor referral whatever so you gotta put that in you can rep insio rep type whatever so you have to uh, uh, enter all those and the, as you said the custom field you define it just add it in here whatever you want to say you know uh, birthday you want to send flowers or whatever you just come up with the uh, you know something what is, is useful uh, information for you and this, this is the important one you know this fill, you know this will say start date end end date uh, projected end date and actually when this one is ended once the job is done you know that tells you uh, the actual progress uh, and this is just to get the data field okay and in here uh, okay that one is done uh, all right so basically that's it and uh, uh, all right so if you just want to create a new one new customer I'll say this one is triple A All right, so got that one. Now you want to add a job. Job one, and fill out all that rest of information, uh, and then this becomes your job. This becomes your job. And uh, you know, for example, in here, Albert Cruz. So the job is kitchen remodel, cottage rem reconstru uh, new construction and uh, uh, when you set up that way then you will get the C the job report in here job report as you can see here job profitability I'm just gonna show you one report in here so it will show you uh, actual cost actual revenue and difference is your profit in here all right as you can see here so uh, Albert Cruz you know, here's the Campbell one. Uh, I'm going to go back back to this one. How is this, the tear in here? But uh, the whole idea here is the actual cost for this uh, uh, job this much. You know, hundred forty four thousand and the revenue generated from that job total. Uh, doing all this work, uh, it's just two hundred seven thousand. The profit on this from this customer is 63,000 so this is the type of report you want if you want it this is how you have to set it up so the Albert Cruz they, you know doing they, they have two jobs for you one is the kitchen remodel or the other is the cottage uh, new construction right so it tells you uh, two jobs one one making $70,000 profit and other one uh, making hundred thirty two thousand dollars and it'll give you if you just click it here it'll take you the cost details all the costs involved for that job uh, including paycheck material uh, whatever cost you have uh, in uh, you know uh, uh, independent contracts cost and then the revenue side of course it comes from your uh, invoicing uh, right okay so now let's focus on this uh, the tearing in here so uh, so Campbell header I'm gonna make this bigger now so the Campbell header is a customer so underneath you create a job and within that job you can create up to another uh, uh, three sub job in here let's say you got the kitchen remodel and you start working on it they said well you got to do a uh, little work additional work so uh, add this, add that type, you know. So uh, just an idea. So is is the limitation is up to five in here. The way you count five is Campbell header is one, job, the main job is two, and then a sub three, four, five. So out of, after that you can't add any more job. As you can see here, uh, add job is grayed out. But if you look at in here add job you can still add it right add job you can still add it 
okay so uh, this is like an imitation one I don't think you will go no nobody will use go this far you know normally you stay with a straight line uh, jobs but some some uh, some companies they will like to uh, come up with the uh, sub tier uh, sub job type you know so anyway so this is just for information uh, so uh, so anyway this is uh, this video deals with the setting up on it and I'm gonna have a, a whole bunch of job costing uh, videos so uh, don't forget to uh, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channels right now we have about 3500 subscribers uh, we want to have about 10,000 next month or so so please help us uh, subscribe to our YouTube channels uh, youtube.com youtube.com forward slash AP controller and if you are also into uh, QuickBooks online youtube.com forward slash new, new QBO thank you bye